From unique volcano sharks to a crazy new species of ancient rat and more, here are 10 animals that live in volcanoes. Number 10. Sharks Topping off our list today of animals living in volcanoes is the deadly shark. Sharks are known for prowling almost every ocean in the world, and scientists have recently discovered that they're also hanging out inside of underwater volcanoes. This story takes us to the southwest Pacific Ocean, near the Solomon Islands, to a volcano named Cavachi. Its first recorded eruption was back in 1939, but it erupted as recently as January 2014. It's even considered to be one of the most active underwater volcanoes in the region, according to Forbes, and is nicknamed Cavachi's Oven after a local sea god. And even though this is an active volcano, it's also home to a unique group of sharks. These hammerhead sharks were filmed recently in 2015 swimming around inside of the volcano. This is a place where water temperatures are above normal and the acidity levels are ridiculous. How do they survive? The truth is that the sharks are not in much danger. Even in the case of an eruption, they can basically just swim away really fast without suffering any damage. Scientists have actually found that living near an underwater volcano can be beneficial as the volcano supplies nutrients to the surrounding area and actually helps maintain the ecosystem. Because the volcano has made its own miniature habitat inside the massive ocean where food is scarce, it actually does make sense that the sharks would hang around there, hoping to get their jaws on some easy food. Number 9. Freaky Lobsters Lobsters are freaky enough as it is. If you look at a lobster and don't see a horrifying sea scorpion, I just don't know what to tell you. Lobsters are weird, but they get weirder. This story goes back 100 years to the waters around Australia. It all started on a tiny island called Lord Howe Island, when a British supply ship ran aground and dozens of black rats left the ship and began to feast on a bug native to the island, known as the Land Lobster. After about 30 years, the Land Lobster was gone. The animal was thought extinct, but then in 1964, a group of people climbing a nearby volcano called Ball's Pyramid found an insect that looked an awful lot like the legendary land lobster. But it wasn't until decades later in 2001 that researchers confirmed finding two dozen of these weird black insects sliding around in the mud of the volcano. The researchers were pretty excited, as they had initially thought it was a completely new species living inside the cracks and crevices of the volcano. According to the story from USA Today, there are currently only about 30 adult land lobsters left living on Ball's Pyramid. This not only makes it an extremely rare insect because it lives on an actual volcano, but it also makes them one of the rarest insects on our planet. Currently, researchers are trying to bring the land lobster back to life, but it's so hard to get rid of those pesky rats brought over on English cargo ships hundreds of years ago. Number 8. Yeti Crabs at the very bottom of the ocean, there are hydrothermal vents that spew out extremely hot water into the icy sea above them. But it's only hot for a few seconds. After the water reaches a few feet, the temperature goes from scalding hot to freezing. And on top of that, the pressure in this area is so heavy that it could crush a normal person. Oh yeah, and there is literally no light. Nonetheless, this horrendous environment is home to something known as the Yeti Crab. These hairy crustaceans were first discovered in 2005, according to the BBC, and they look exactly like the abominable snowman, only in crab form. Since the initial discovery, there have only been five species of yeti crab found. But all of them live in this weird environment at the bottom of the ocean next to the hydrothermal vents. And while not your typical volcano, they are still fissures that expel heat, just like normal volcanoes. In any case, the yeti crabs were discovered living all around the vents in the basalt rock at the bottom of the ocean. And while it may seem inhospitable to you, the water temperature down there is only about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The Yeti crabs basically live their whole life in a hot tub. They surprised researchers by draping their big hairy claws over the hot water vents like you or I would dangle our feet in the hot tub. These might be the most relaxing volcano creatures ever. Number 7. The Fanged Fish The Fanged Fish is one ugly mother. It's also known as the Scaleless Blackfish, and it's only about the size of your fingertip. But these weird little fish are proving that life can thrive literally anywhere on this planet. Just recently, an Australian research team discovered the fanged fish living inside the warm and acidic waters near some underwater volcanoes. You can tell the fanged tooth fish right away from its translucent fangs and its tadpole-like body. But it wasn't the only creature that they found living in the area. There were lots of other fish, some of which might have been snaggletooth dragonfish. The team believes that all these fish are the result of larvae being swept out of ocean nurseries where Australian farmers grow fish, then thriving and growing up in the inhospitable waters around the nearby volcanoes. 
According to the chief scientist for the voyage, they had previously thought that when the larvae were swept out to sea from coastal estuaries, they perished. But this new discovery says that's not the case at all. The poor little babies that get swept out of the commercial fisheries have been thriving inside the waters of hot volcanoes. Number 6. Volcano Worms You might not have heard of the mud volcano. Most people think volcanoes spit out molten lava, hot ash and all kinds of other toxic junk. But the truth is that there are lots of different kinds of volcanoes, and most of them are underwater. At the bottom of the Arctic Ocean are five active mud volcanoes. And just like the name implies, they spit out extremely warm mud. They also belch out methane gas. If you know anything about methane gas, you will know it's not something humans can survive breathing in. But that doesn't mean the inhospitable environment around these volcanoes doesn't support at least some kind of life. Living on these mud volcanoes are billions and billions of weird tiny worms. The worms survive without any light, and the story of their lives is pretty bizarre. They are known as Beaufort Sea Tube Worms, and they are only about 8 centimeters long each. But they are related to annelid worms, which are found near hydrothermal vents under the ocean and can grow to be around 6 feet in length. These worms survive in completely pitch black conditions, under a lot of pressure, and in water filled with toxic gases. But none of this bothers them. Without any eyes, without a stomach, and without a butt, they actually feed on these toxic gases. This is one of the most incredible discoveries ever. This creature literally survives by sucking in methane gas or hydrogen sulfide. Scientists aren't yet sure which one they actually feed on. Number 5. Volcano Barnacle We are all familiar with barnacles. But did you know that barnacles are indeed living creatures? A barnacle is a type of arthropod, and is very closely related to crabs and lobsters. There are almost countless different variations of barnacles living in the ocean, with most of them living in shallow waters. However, there is something known as the pink volcano barnacle. It's a special species of barnacle that is surprisingly large and lives off the coast of California. While they don't actually live inside volcanoes, they are named because of their shape. There is no denying that these little barnacles look exactly like miniature volcanoes ready to erupt. What's really weird about the species is that they only live near California. Other than that, there isn't really much to be said about them. They are just cute little mini volcanoes growing on the sides of rocks and stones under the water. Number 4. Hairy Microbes In 2014, an expedition to the Tagoro volcano near the Canary Islands resulted in the discovery of strange colonies of hairy bacteria living inside of a very inhospitable environment. This was two years after the volcano erupted and reshaped a massive patch of the sea floor. The researchers had to explore using a robotic submarine equipped with specialized cameras and high-tech machine arms for collecting samples. They originally thought that there would be no life considering the recent eruption, but they soon found living microbes. After genetic analysis of the samples they took, researchers discovered that the metabolic functions of the microbes enabled them to grow in hostile environments. While most organisms would be killed by the toxic hydrogen sulfide seeping out of the volcanic rocks, these weird organisms actually use it for energy. This is very similar to the worms living in the mud volcano. The scientists ended up naming the microbes Venus's hair because they look like strands of hair from the famous painting of the goddess Venus emerging from the sea. According to a researcher from the University of Delaware, none of the team are completely sure when the bacteria arrived at the volcano, but they do believe that they started colonizing the area once the temperature dropped. But where did these microbes come from? The volcano was extremely isolated and far away from any other place where similar microbes might be. And according to the research team, the microbes basically come out of nowhere. They believe that these microbes are always present in the water but at such low levels they can't be detected. Then, when opportunity presents itself, the microbes explode in numbers. This goes to show that there is still an entire world that we don't quite understand. Number 3. Volcano Shrimp How would you like to eat some tasty volcano shrimp? Back in 2009, a group of oceanographers paid a visit to an active underwater volcano near Guam known as NW Rota 1. I know, it's a pretty lame name for a volcano. But the volcano itself is pretty interesting. It's constantly active, and one of the only submarine volcanoes that scientists have witnessed erupting. It's just erupting all of the time, like it's got a bad case of gas. But what also makes this volcano very unique is that it's home to a bunch of unusual creatures, including the volcano shrimp. The shrimp appear to have adapted to living life on the side of an ever-growing volcano. They are known as lohi shrimp, and they survive by grazing the bacterial filaments with their tiny claws. They stroll up and down the newly developed rock feasting on tiny little filaments until they grow into their adult stage, at which point the shrimp become fierce predators. But it's a game of chance. 
The bacteria on the side of the volcano grows extremely fast, so there's always a food source, but the shrimp are constantly struggling to avoid volcanic eruptions. Every time there is a volcanic burst, you can witness massive clouds of these bright pink shrimp fleeing through the ocean. And when that happens, they get attacked by other marine life. But other marine life isn't so suited to these kinds of waters. When squid and other fish try to attack the shrimp too close to the volcano, they get a big blast of noxious gas and drop dead to the bottom of the ocean, where their corpses can then be feasted on by the shrimp. Number 2. Giant Pink Slugs Let's move from small pink shrimp to giant pink slugs. This is something known as the Mount Capitar Pink Slug, and it's about as cute as any other slug. It has an extremely red colour that makes it look pink. Actually, it almost looks like if a tube of lipstick melted and then came back to life. But even though this is one of the most flamboyant slugs in the world, they live a pretty relaxed lifestyle. This is because they're stuck over 3,000 feet up on the sides of an ancient volcano in Australia. The volcano is named Narrabri, and it's located in the state of New South Wales. So, what do these giant slugs do all day on the volcano? The answer is not much. They sometimes slide out from their rocky hiding spots and slowly inch up rocks or up tree trunks where they feed on eucalyptus, lichen, algae and fungi. But they only do it at night. When the day rolls around, these giant pink slugs retreat back into their hiding spots and wait for the next chance to feed. It's believed that the slugs managed to survive the brutal fires in the National Park in 2019 thanks to their hiding abilities. While the fire raged, the giant pink slugs were very deep under the rocks and 3,000 feet up. That's a pretty good defence mechanism if you ask me. And speaking of the fires in Australia, scientists are having a bit of a difficult time trying to figure out how many of these giant pink slugs are left, as they are so elusive. Much wildlife has been destroyed, and scientists are trying to figure out who's left and how many there are. Another very elusive species that scientists can't track very well is the platypus. But the platypus doesn't live on a volcano. Number 1. Giant Rat just a few years ago, there was a new species of rat discovered living in the crater of a volcano in the country of Papua New Guinea. The discovery was made by a biologist working with the Natural History Unit of the BBC. And while the volcano in which the giant rat was found is technically extinct, it's still a volcano. The crater is about two and a half miles wide with giant walls about half a mile tall. This big hole in the ground has trapped a whole ecosystem of creatures inside a world of their own. It's basically a bowl where all kinds of cool critters have been able to evolve in peace. This has been helped by the fact that humans very rarely enter the area. The first to sight the new giant rat was a tracker from a nearby indigenous tribe. A local biologist was then informed and eventually the BBC showed up with their cameras. And yeah, this is one weird rat. It is gigantic. It weighs almost four pounds and measures almost three feet from nose to tail. It's being called the Bosevi woolly rat, and it's one of the largest in the entire world. Even stranger is that the rat was almost completely tame when it was found. This is a sign that animals inside the isolated volcanic crater were completely unfamiliar with humans. Because they never met humans before, they had no reason to be afraid of them. But that will probably change pretty quickly. How would you like to live in a volcano? What animal was your favourite? Let me know what you think of these strange animals in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome videos. See you next time. Would you move into a $10 million home next to an active volcano, or would you rather just stay put in your current home? Don't bother replying if you are already living in a $10 million home that is not next to an active volcano.